morning you guys oh my god i never thought that i would film another reading vlog again because i've made like three reading vlogs and all of them were a pain in the ass to edit i like just woke up an hour ago and i'm still eating my breakfast my basic bitch avocado and egg toast yes but i decided to do another reading vlog because i actually do quite like making them even though the editing process is is just hell because premiere pro constantly like stops working and it just breaks down but i think i kind of know where the problem is so let's try again maybe for the last time today is august 8th and i have just only finished my first book of the month and i'm still currently reading one let's grab that book <laughs> First, I will tell you guys about the book that I'm currently reading. If you've seen my July wrap up, you know what book I'm currently reading. And that is Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Ryderson. I am almost halfway through, I'd say. I think I'm on page 169. I don't think that. I know it because I just saw it. I really want to read more today and I'm quite enjoying this YA fantasy story, but not as much as everyone else, I think. Or at least until so far, I'm not like super hyped and I'm not like obsessed with it but I am enjoying it because the story is quite fast paced because this is a fantasy standalone. I think it's really complicated to explain what it's about so if you want to know more about the synopsis please look it up on Goodreads. I have a link to my Goodreads in the description bar down below as well as all of my other social media pages but until so far I've kind of had concentration problems while reading this and it's probably my own fault. I'm gonna read some today and I'm really gonna try to read at least like 50 pages because I really do enjoy it and it's been a long time since I read a fantasy book but I have finished a book just now and I'm really excited that I read this one. It's Every Heart Adore by Shannon 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 McGuire. Really difficult first name to pronounce. I read this through audiobook. I once had like some kind of free trial on Audible from like Amazon and I wasn't like blown away by one of the audiobooks that I read back then so I thought audiobook is not something for me but then I found this app this website called Scribed or Scribd. Again difficulty pronouncing this because my native language is not English but I have a two month free trial right now and until so far I finished two books through this audiobook app. Shut the hell up. <laughs> and I am really enjoying it. I don't have a promotion or sponsorship going on with them but if you guys do follow my link which I will leave in the description bar down below and you like sign up for a two month free trial as well I get one free month in exchange for that. That's just like some kind of promotion thing that they always have going on on their website like if you tell a friend you get a month free as well because I'm really enjoying this and I was always kind of interested in the Wayward Children series I think is what it's called but the books are really small and if you want to buy them like physical copies they're over 10 euros and for such a small book I don't know if that's really worth it and I found all of these books on Scribe so I like saved them all. I just finished Every Heart a Doorway and I really enjoyed it guys. Oh my god. I definitely think that the audiobook experience like the format really contributed to my enjoyment of the book because I feel like if I read this myself in physical form I would have like a little bit of a struggle getting through it. It tells the story in kind of a very not very slow but in a little bit more slower way plus it's very whimsical it's very mysterious this is all about a school where our children go to who have been to another world they have all found this world by going through a door um, they've been to like different worlds like an insect world a fairy world you have so many different worlds that all of these children have been going to and then all of a sudden they get back home people call them insane they don't really belong and then they get sent to the school where they kind of of have like therapy I'd say. I found this one really interesting. There was some kind of mystery thrown in it as well. The audiobook is just over like four hours so it's really quite short and I listen to it while making breakfast, while riding my bike, while going to the gym even though I I haven't really gone to the gym but I should do that today. I think that today I will be starting Down Among the Sticks Down Among the Sticks and Bones <laughs> which is the second book in this series. I don't know how many books there are going to be. There are currently four books out and I, I have a feeling I'll be finishing all of them this month and I'm really excited about it. By the way my hair is curled because um, my boyfriend's niece she has done my hair yesterday. I painted it again and she curled it and I love it but my hair won't always look this good. Just a little warning. So yeah, I'm gonna watch some YouTube videos. I'm gonna like figure out what kind of artsy prints I want to make next because I just made an art print inspired by the exact opposite of OK by Laura Steven and I'm really proud of it and I showed it to Laura Steven and she loved it. 
Oh my god, I got a response from her. So I'm gonna make some more like feminist art prints because I eventually want to open like an Etsy shop with feminist things, with bookish things, with flowery things. I don't know what I want to make, but I just want to create some art. So that is what I'm gonna do. Oh my god. Today is August 11th and I still look almost just as good as in my previous update. The past couple of days have been um, strange. I didn't feel good and I haven't read a lot. So done with this. <laughs> the thing that I'm done with is, um, okay, reading wise, I haven't read a lot, but I thought I recorded a video on my favorite feminist reads and I was really happy with the way that I filmed it and I cannot find it back on my camera and I really wanted to edit it right now because I haven't done anything all day today and I feel useless. <laughs> so, yay, yay, I probably have to you know, record it, re-record it tomorrow. <laughs> I just thought that I had my favorite feminist reads ready to be edited and now I have to refilm it all and it will just feel less natural than, you know, if you film it for the first time, but that's okay, I guess. Uh, I'm really bummed out. I don't know what I'm gonna do today. I just feel like when I'm all by myself, I don't know. I just don't know what to do with myself and it's just a little difficult these past couple of days. So I don't know if I want to read. I don't want to read Sorcery of Thorns, but I kind of do because I just want to be done with it. Let's give you a little bit of a different update. I um, did start another audiobook over here, the Scribed app, and I am currently listening to A Down Among the Sticks and Bones. I am over halfway through in that book, so I'm glad that I'm reading something, I guess. I'm really digging the second book as well because this is more of like the backstory of two characters kind of in every how to doorway doorway called um, Jack and Jill, and I really like that we're focusing on their backstory. Already so done with today, but okay, we shall see how it goes. I hate these kinds of days where you feel like, what am I supposed to do? Like, ah, it's, I don't know. It's okay to have those days, but it's just not really nice. Hi guys, <laughs> today is August 15th and I just wanted to like show you guys something. I have a ukulele. I have gotten this for my birthday from uh, my best friend, Frédéric. I haven't been practicing a lot, but these past uh, couple of days I have and I just, oh my god. I really want to play like so many songs on the ukulele, but I, ukulele, ukulele, I don't know how to say it. I'm gonna say ukulele from this point on. You can correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. I haven't had any lessons and I'm just trying to learn some chords all by myself. Myself, I don't have a good technique like at all so don't hate on me for that please but I did learn like the course for I'm yours by Jason Mraz Mraz mm, that's how you write his name I don't know really how to pronounce it I don't think I have an amazing voice and I hope that you guys won't think that I am like super awful at singing but I will show you guys what I can do now well you don't raining the whole day and now the sun is shining like that's Netherlands for you right here. I pre-filmed a video for my summer book haul and I'm gonna edit it so that I don't have to edit it when I go on vacation for thinking. I want to try and do my best to upload a video every single week um, to kind of get some consistency in my channel and even though that is not a lot of uploading, I'm doing this just for fun. I do want to build like a bigger audience and I know that uploading once a week doesn't really help with that but the next period of time until the middle of November, I'm not gonna have a lot of spare time. Going back, going back. Oh hi! <laughs> now I look kind of normal again. I'm gonna edit like my thumbnail for that pre-filmed, pre-edited video and then hopefully I'm gonna read some in uh, the manifesto on how to be interesting by Holly Bourne because I just started that one yesterday or two days ago or I'm gonna read some in Sorcery of Thorns or in both uh, but we shall see. Hi you guys, okay so today is August 14th. Let me give you guys a little bit of an update. So I refilmed my favorite feminist reads video and I'm still quite glad with how it turned out and I edited that one over the course of like two days and I uploaded it and I'm really happy with how that video turned out. I'm a little bit more chilled out right now but still I don't know these next upcoming days are really busy before I'm gonna go to Greece and I'm just a little bit like oh I 
never really liked that but I want to like see so many of my friends again that I just I don't care I want to see them and then I can go on vacation I am still currently reading Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson I don't know why it's not a bad book but I'm just not really interested in reading it right now I'm almost halfway through I'm on page 191 but I think I'm gonna listen to the audiobook a bit more so that I can get through it there's a lot happening the story is quite fast paced and it is interesting but it's just at the beginning of this book gave me more of like the vibes that I was going for than where I am right now in the story I guess in the beginning I was really intrigued and very interested and I wanted to read a lot like I read 70 pages in a day and every single time that I pick up this book right now I read like a chapter and then that's it I also finished Down Among the Sticks and Bones by Sean and McGuire if that's how you pronounce her name I don't know if I already told you guys about that I gave it four out of five stars I really enjoyed the backstory of Jack and Jill but I'm so stuck with the Sorcery of Thorns and I just I feel like I'm a little bit in a reading slump right now and I don't like it so I was thinking like okay so I mean just start a different book it's okay to do that I just don't want to get in the reading slump so I started reading the first chapter of Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine by Gail Honeyman this is an adult fiction story about basically a woman who has just a very repetitive life everything is so fine but every weekend she drinks down two bottles of vodka I was like yes I want to read this I just got this in the mail I read the first chapter and I did like it but I was just not feeling it. I don't think this is the book that I'm supposed to be reading right now. Like it just doesn't feel super right. So when I um, made my favorite feminist reads video and I told you guys in that video that I really liked Am I Normal Yet by Holly Bourne and I was like I don't know what kind of book I'm feeling right now but I think that I'm feeling some Holly Bourne. <laughs> so um, yesterday I started one of her other books that I have. I've had this one on my shelf for like two years I guess because I bought this book once on a Dutch website called bol.com so if you're Dutch you definitely know this website it's just like the Amazon for Holland and they had this book on there for like five euros that rarely happens so I bought it I didn't really know like if I would enjoy the story but I knew who Holly Bourne was and now I'm like I know who she is I want to read more of her and that is the manifesto on how to be interesting like this is not a cover that really pulls my attention and I know don't judge a book by its cover but we all do it we all just you know we are visual people I read the first chapter yesterday and I love Holly Burns's writing style I don't know how she does it or what she does exactly that I just really enjoy I don't know it just makes me feel at home if that makes any sense I will definitely be reading this the next upcoming days and I want to get into it a little bit more but it's just so busy that I don't know how far I will be able to get into this book before I go to Greece. Beneath the Sugar Sky by Shauna McGuire. This is the third book in the Wayward Children series and I downloaded the audiobook so I will be starting that like pretty soon. I have no clue what this story is about in this world or with which characters but we shall see. The cover is really pretty. Right now I'm gonna go to Tim's parents because I'm gonna visit Tim at work. I want to see where he works. I've never been to that place so that's what I'm gonna do and this evening we're gonna chill with some people and tomorrow I have one of the very few last days like calm days here in my hometown. <laughs> <laughs> so casual guys look at Leora's bookshelf it is so pretty every time I come here I'm like yes <laughs> yes it's just so satisfying isn't this the best thing you've seen all day I am too much hi that's Leora she has her own YouTube channel uh, mind daisies I have to think about your title again <laughs> I was like confused ah! but you can follow her also on Instagram she has a beautiful feed she's like oh my god such an artist <laughs> just such an icon no but like my bookshelf is so ordered and I do it by like but rainbow mine's... style oh right and I don't know I just feel like if I would do this I mean I think it looks great on your bookshelf but I think that with me I would just be like so like oh my god I need to have it on like rainbow and I don't know why. Parts of it are about color, but most of it is just like 
I've got it on genre. Oh, okay, okay. But most of it's fantasy, so it's kind of stupid because like half of these shelves are fantasy, but it still <laughs> it works out. And I do I it on genre. I have one contemporary shelf and a science fiction shelf. I see and it. And then I have a crime shelf. And I have sort of a historic part down there. I can uh, show you guys. This is uh, the contemporary part, right? But it's not even all contemporary. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, then we have like science fiction stuff here, crime, and what did you say was like oldish? Yeah, that's his. That down there is uh, some historical fiction, oh, but not okay. all of it. Like a few. Oh, I just oh, especially this Harry Harry Potter thing. You bought this with me. Did this. I? Yes, you did. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, girl! I know I did. <laughs> That's mean. I mean, look at your room. It's so cute. I love it every single time that I come here. You just cute in general. Like it is a little bit color. Yeah, I like especially. Yes, I love the contemporary yeah. shelf going from like orange to blue. It's pretty. I enjoy watching. You're filming this. against the light. Yeah, I was like looking. Like this is so much better. <laughs> <laughs> Laura doesn't want to be on video, but here's her on the side, <laughs> from the side. Oh, she does want to be on the video. I just wanted to show you guys, ooh, the lighting. Yesterday we did like journaling, we danced to Queen and it's so we filmed it, it's awful. <laughs> Morning faces, yes. Um, can you hold your own journal? No, this is New York. No, no, nay, no, 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 no. Or what you did yesterday, and then we made some things for each other. This, this. is what Leora did yesterday. She was whining about it all yeah, evening. I don't, I don't like it a lot. But yeah, it's beautiful. It's right. Let me know what you think. I mean, come on. This is beautiful. This is, I didn't make this yesterday, but, um, and I did this. <laughs> I still wanna, I wanna put a, a drawing up here. I don't know what yet. This is what she made. This in my is journal. what I made for Leora, but just it's with like so a you personal. Also yeah, just some personal messages that she has to think of. <laughs> I started my art journal yesterday. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, turn around. Ta da! Oh, yeah, that's some scraps that I want to use sometime. This is what Leora did on my journal. Like, look at that. And then look at my entry. It's cute. Okay, this is the beginning. Because I do want to, like, do this too when I'm in uni. And then I have to make time and space to think. <laughs> <laughs> that was my, that was my, how do you say that? My train of thought. And then I also put this in because... this just holding of the journal together. <laughs> can you hold it? Yes, I can hold it. This is Dutch for making mistakes is allowed, basically, because I am always too perfectionistic. Uh, how do you say that? I'm a perfectionist, so I constantly want to do things right from the get-go, but I am not an artist. I need to get more experienced. I need to... If you make art, you're an artist. Yeah, okay. <laughs> this is the same journal as this one, but that oh. is mine and it's totally full. Look at that! Oh my god, I want really to big. get to this level one day. They're the same one, so this one, it could get as thick as this. Yeah, that would be amazing. I think it would take me like two to three years before I would get this full, but we shall see That's about fine. that. Hi guys, so today, okay, it is 1 a.m. in the morning, so it is officially August 20th. Tomorrow, or at least in like exactly 24 hours, I'm gonna go to Schiphol Airport. It is uh, the airport in Amsterdam because I'm gonna go on summer vacation with Tim to Zakynthos, which is a Greek island. I've never been to Greece, so I'm very excited to, but it's so surreal and like I still have to pack all of my clothes and like my bags. So much stuff that I have to do tomorrow. I also have to work, but I am also gonna edit a video tomorrow and I'm gonna wake up extra early for that. Not really gonna sleep tomorrow and not really gonna sleep that much today. I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update with my art journal because I have been journaling a couple of things. Okay, so here we have my art journal. I bought some stickers on Redbubble to put on my, what is this one called? Leuchtturm. You have seen already. These two are in the beginning. I added something at the beginning of my art journal and that is this thing. I don't, it's not the best. The blending is not amazing. 
I basically just wanted to have something super colorful and rainbowy-ish, and this is Dutch for just do it, so I basically <laughs> quoted Nike <laughs> at the beginning of my art journal. I drew some little stars there and there with the masking fluid, and then I just said gewoon doen, because you know, just do it. I am so much of a perfectionist, like I even would want to sharpen out all of these lines and make them straight and I'm just not going to do it. Especially this star is like so not beautiful and like not straight at all. I mean like look at it, it's so crooked and the perfectionist in me would want to correct this because look at it, but I'm just not gonna do it. Then again, Leora spread, so pretty. Then I did this one with Under the Sea and I took this from one of Leora's books, like a diver, and I thought like, oh, let's put this like in the sea and then I drew a little boat on it. If you guys recognize any of the doodles, it could be because I cannot draw things right out of my head. So I look up doodles of boats, for instance, on the internet and then I saw someone who drew a boat kind of like this. So I redid the drawing and then I did a little bit of calligraphy because calligraphy Calligraphy is something that I'm pretty good at and I feel quite comfortable with. And then today I did this, which I actually really quite like. I'm not like super in love with it, but I'm trying to learn Love of My Life by Queen on my ukulele. So I found a YouTube tutorial and I wrote down all of the chords uh, just above the lyrics and I drew them out on my little art journal because these past couple of days I've just been trying to play that song on my ukulele, ukulele, <laughs> and I've been constantly searching for that tutorial on the internet and I was just like it's so much easier if I just write it down in my journal and then I can look at it whenever I want to. I showed you guys yesterday that I received this blanket from Emposia. Hi, future Sabine here. Yes, I did show you guys the blanket that I received from Emposia, but no, I cannot show it to you guys in this video because I lost the footage. I got sent this bookish blanket by Emposia, which I believe is a Canadian company who are making bookishly inspired blankets. They have two different kinds of like bookish prints that they are putting on their blankets. And the blankets have like this Harry Potter robe kind of feeling. So the owners of Emposia contacted me if I wanted to receive their bookish blanket because they know I am a book lover. Yes, honey, I need that for the winter months because I get cold really, really easily. So I'm gonna show you guys what the blanket looks like in just a few seconds but there are some really exciting things coming so watch for my next video which will be uploaded within a week or so so yes i was like can you like strap this thing on like i do not see it so i talked to the uh, creators of this blanket so you can wrap this blanket around you so i will show you guys what it looks like you look like a wizard when you wear this thing it's amazing i put it on like this first and then without getting hair in your mouth. I tried to find this little thing right here. I don't know if you can see. And then there's a button like right over here and you put it on. Look, and now I'm wearing the blanket. <laughs> Isn't that cool? I figured it out. I can just wear it like I want to. Okay, but I'm just happy that, that you can like put this on. I'm not super tired right now, but... <sighs> I should be. I need to like do lots of things tomorrow and I don't want to get a jet lag just from staying up all night tomorrow when I go to the airport. Okay, I'm gonna grab the book that I'm currently reading. The Manifesto on How to Be Interesting by Holly Bourne. This is the second Holly Bourne book that I'm reading and I have to say this is not a spoiler. This happens at like page 30 or 40. If you see that as a spoiler, don't listen to me right now, but it happens in the first tenth of the book. Our main character has apparently kissed her teacher and I don't, I'm not really feeling that, you know, because the teacher is 30 and she is like 16 or 17, I believe in this book. There are so many stereotypes and just so many privileged people who do not acknowledge their privilege. The reason why I'm still reading this is because Holly Board has a great, great writing style and I know what her like motives are. She's a very, a very feminist writer and for Brie, our main character, she wants to become as like interesting as possible and that is why she's kind of changing her whole personality and that is something that I'm, I don't like when people do that. But I know that Holly Bourne has a purpose with this book so that is why I'm definitely gonna finish it. I will probably finish it on vacation. I've read I think a fourth of this right now. I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna try and get some sleep and I will talk to you soon. Hopefully.
bye today is monday the 2nd of september and i just had my first like introduction morning for school yesterday evening i was so emotional i don't think i'm gonna put in like a lot of the footage that i made yesterday evening but i do think that me filming that was kind of trying to talk to someone even though no one was there really i don't know it kind of helped me to just to say what i was feeling i don't even know why i'm filming this i am not for any crier i came back from greece today and i'm back at my room in utrecht and it looks like a mess because it is i always get like this after the summer ends and it's I guess that a lot of people would think that I am exaggerating things, but this is the third year that I'm having this kind of like emotional breakdown, I guess you could call it, at the end of summer. And the thing is, these past 12 days have been really great in Greece. I had a really nice time with Tim, but I always have this when I go back to school again. I always have this adjusting period when I get back from summer because I always stay in my hometown. I see my friends again from high school. I see the new friends that I've made in the last year. And then when I get back here, I see them just not enough. And every single time that I have to adjust again to school, I get so emotional like this. Also, August was just kind of a rough month for me at the beginning up until I went to Greece. I have to go to school at like, eight hours or something. I don't know what time is it. I don't know when I'm here, my brain just thinks so much. I think so much about what other people think of me, what my roommates would think of me, um, what if my friends here in Utrecht have miss me, if the friends back at home miss me. I just, oh, such a struggle. Like I don't feel at home at home when I'm here. Like, this is my place and I do feel comfortable. But when I'm back home, that feels like my home. And every time I, I come home for a really long time, like during the summer, for two months basically, I almost was home again. And I get back here, it just all oh, hits me. I don't know why I always have that when I get back to uni again after such a long time. Or when I get back here in Utrecht, it's always like just uh, such an impact on me and especially now that i like just came back from vacation yesterday i came back from Zakintos from greece it's just such a different life all of a sudden like going from vacation and from your relaxing mode to like going to school again it's also that i'm not gonna see the people that i saw a lot in the past couple of two months and that always kind of like ugh, puts me down. So yeah, August was not a great month for me. I did do some fun things, but also something not so fun uh, came around and that's why I pretty much didn't really read a lot. I can show you guys what I read. So I finished two audiobooks because I listened to those on my Scribed app. Every Heart of Doy by Seanan McGuire. Plus I also finished the sequel to that, which is uh, Down Among the Sticks and Bones. And I don't know which one I enjoyed more. A lot of people enjoyed the second book a whole lot more. I really liked it and I'm really liking this Every Heart of Doorway series um, but I do need to finish the two books this month actually because then my free trial is over. Unless you guys use the link that I will put in the description bar down below. I did start listening to Beneath the Sugar Sky here on my phone this month so this is the third book in the series. I've almost finished chapter 4 out of 18 but I need to like refresh my mind so I'm gonna restart the chapter and then listen to it in the next couple of weeks. So I finished those two plus I started reading that one and I did almost like almost I only had 40 pages left or something like that no maybe a little bit more of the manifesto on how to be interesting by Holly Bourne look at these cool pages I'm almost finished I'm gonna finish it today I'm definitely gonna do that but oh my god this book without spoiling anything this is definitely not a good book <laughs> almost finished this one in August so I almost finished three books. I don't know how my reading is gonna go in September. I don't think it's gonna go really, really like well because September is always, first of all, a super busy month. Like everyone gets back from vacation. People wanna do a lot of things um, during the weekend, but also I'm just starting school again doing uh, new courses, doing new experiences. So it's all a little much right now. So that's why I don't seem that happy, I guess, because I just I have to get back to the grind of things again and I also still want to do things with YouTube so it's a little like 
I need to figure a way out how to combine things. Even though this wasn't like the most happy reading vlog that I made, I just hope that you enjoyed it in some kind of way. So if you did, please give it a thumbs up and you can subscribe to my channel by clicking somewhere here on the screen or on the button down below. You guys can follow me on all of my different social media pages because I'm a booktuber. Of course, I have Goodreads, but I also have Snapchat, Instagram, plus an email address. Links to those will also be in the description bar down below. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.